Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm going to tell you about this beautiful 2020 Tesla Model 3 long range dual motor all wheel drive. Uh, this was a one owner clean Carfax vehicle from sunny California. Uh, pretty low miles. Let's pull up the miles here for you. Oh, wrong one. So 7,350 miles. This one has autopilot. So uh, the newer Teslas, um, the newer Model 3s have what they call autopilot with convenient features. It doesn't have the full self-driving hardware. It does uh, have the ability to have the full self-driving added on or the subscription. I'll talk a little bit about that shortly. So on the old Tesla Model 3, on the 18s, uh, they had basic autopilot. An autopilot with convenient features was a $3,000 upgrade. Basic autopilot really doesn't uh, give you a lot. It's just, you know, blind spot warning, lane departure warning, uh, lane departure prevention. But autopilot with convenient features, that is really the uh, good system to have. Uh, luckily on the newer Teslas, I think it was in uh, 2019 or 2020, they made autopilot with convenient features standard, at least on the uh, long range models like this one. Uh, so basically autopilot enables you your car to steer, accelerate and brake automatically for other vehicles and pedestrians within its lane. Available features vary, vary based on market. Every driver is responsible for remaining alert and active when using these features and must be prepared to take action at any time. And the autopilot with convenient features is an amazing system. Um, I get to drive a lot of cars in this car business. As a used car manager, I'm driving cars. I'm in all sorts of different cars. But one of my favorite cars right now, if I have to go on the highway and stop and go traffic on a long road trip, I will take a Model 3 or any Tesla, for that matter, if we have one in stock, with the autopilot with convenient features because it, and you know, it's my opinion, but I think it's one of the most advanced systems right now. It does a great job. So basically, autopilot with convenient features enables the vehicle to steer in its lane and drive to a complete stop. Like it says, you need to pay attention. It doesn't always work, doesn't always see anything. It's not full self-driving. You need to pay attention and get ready to intervene. It does happen. For the most part, the system works great. Uh, so it'll steer you in your lane uh, on the highway. And sometimes even on single you know, lane roads, it'll steer in your lane just as long as it can you know, clearly see the lanes and all that stuff. And then it will go to all the way to complete stop uh, if there's a vehicle in front of you. It doesn't stop for traffic lights and stuff like that. You need to, you need to uh, stop for that. So, full self-driving. Um, full self-driving is a $10,000 option right now. Uh, this does have the full self-driving computer. I think it was 2019 units and newer have the upgraded full self-driving. So if you do subscribe to it, it's uh, $1.99 a month. You can subscribe to full self-driving. You don't need to pay the additional $1,000 to have the computer installed. But I'll tell you right now, and the thing with Teslas is I make videos on older Teslas and since they're always changing, they're always being updated, you know, the information is not always accurate. So as of right now, July 2021 Autopilot, um, uh, no, no, sorry, full self-driving is a $1.99 a month subscription and it doesn't give you much. Um, it gives you uh, navigate by autopilot, um, na navigate on autopilot, you know, smart summon, some cool things like that, but honestly, I don't think it's worth the you know $1.99 a month till they come out with the auto steer on city streets. And that is the big difference. So right now, it will stay in its lane, it'll steer in its lane, but when you have the FSD with auto steer on city streets, uh, it will be a beta program, you still need to pay attention, you still need to be ready to intervene, but when that comes out, it will actually um, take left and right turns, you, you put a destination and navigation and the vehicle will drive itself to the destination uh, when they have auto steer uh, on city streets with FSD. That's not available yet. It could be available in a couple months. It could be available in six months, a year, two years, who knows? It's a matter of how fast the system uh, uh, gets to a point where it's safe to let a wide variety of people use it. Right now it's in beta. Uh, FSD 9 is in beta. There's about 2,000 people. It's doing lots of really cool things, amazing things. It actually blows me away. I watch these videos all the time. You can see it yourself. One of my favorite YouTube channels is Dirty Tesla. He does a good job uh, demonstrating the FSD uh, systems. Um, so eventually, uh, when, the when the systems becomes more reliable, it's less buggy, they're gonna release a, probably a wider beta to everyone. So anyone who has the FSD, who bought it or has a subscription, they'll have a lot of these uh, cool features. When that happens, that will be worth it. So 
just kind of a little divergence, but whenever we have people who buy Teslas from us, they ask us, does this have full self-driving? And there's sometimes a little bit of confusion. So as of right now, Autopilot with convenient features is awesome. That's all you, I think you need right now. When they have auto steering city streets come out for uh, full self-driving, then it, it might be worth subscribing. Of course, when they do have the full self-driving, eventually where you can take a nap, the car can drive itself via robo taxi, it can go park itself. Oh man, of course, yeah, that's worth $200 a month all day long. Uh, but we don't know how long that will be. It could be never, it could be five years, it could be a year. Um, I'm willing to bet they're putting a lot of um, uh, money and energy into it. I'm willing to bet that it'll be sooner and later, but we don't really know for sure. All right, so the range on a Model 3 long range dual motor 2020 is about uh, 300 miles, 310 miles, but range can vary depending on the way you drive. Uh, I've, you know, if you drive really aggressively, it'll probably be more closer to 200 miles of uh, range. So some people just change it like here to percentage, just like a percentage of in a smartphone. So sometimes people, instead of getting caught up in range, it's just, this is how much battery percentage is, is left. You can change that pretty easily. Um, so you can expect anywhere between two and 300 uh, outside temperatures, the way you drive, uh, highway driving, city driving, tire pressure. Uh, there's a lot of variables that can, um, you know, control uh, or, or, or determine the range on this one. So uh, pretty much everything on the Tesla is operated through the center screen here. Uh, the mirrors, the steering wheel adjustments, you can control the brightness of the screen. Very intuitive, it's like using a smartphone. Um, if you ever use an iPhone, it's the same thing. So pretty much everything is uh, used through this card. You can also... Um, set up your phone you have to give permission but uh you have keys like this you can also buy a regular key uh from tesla tesla or you can uh hook up your phone and uh, make your phone a key as well so lots of options there uh driving you can have chill our standard for acceleration steering most comfort standard and sport even though this isn't the performance uh, model 3 this is very fast i think it's about 360 horsepower zero to 16 four seconds and with electric cars you have the torque instantly with all-wheel drive this thing takes off it is very very fun to drive um, i'm a car enthusiast i drive lots of fast cars this thing is an amazing performance machine i've even driven faster teslas i was in a tesla uh, p85 today with ludicrous mode that is super fast but honestly this is fast enough for me, so uh, if you like fast cars and you're kind of maybe thinking of getting a Model S or a Model 3 Performance, try this one first. It might be enough. And there's also an upgrade. It's a $2,000 upgrade where you, uh, they do a software update and it'll give you an acceleration boost. So it drops the acceleration from 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. So those are all your um, you know, safety features. Um, you can control the vehicle, software updates. Uh, everything is handled through the center screen. You have the toy box, you can play video games, um, entertainment, you can watch YouTube. Uh, premium connectivity is about $10 a month. Uh, they give you a free trial, so with premium connectivity you can do streaming. Uh, basically uh, activates uh, the Wi-Fi, well not the Wi-Fi, but the cell phone transporter. I think it's 3G or 4G uh, cell phone transport responder. Um, so you can stream music. Um, if you have good enough, uh, if you have good enough um, uh, you know, uh, internet signal, I can't talk today, then you can also uh, go on the internet and then you can like go on Netflix, Hulu, YouTube and stuff like that. Pretty cool stuff. All right, open up the trunks and the trunks. So charging, this comes with some chargers. Uh, you can plug it into a regular wall outlet. That will probably add about two miles of range per hour. It's very, very slow. I don't recommend that for your number one charging method because uh, if you drive a lot, uh, you'll have to charge the thing for three or four days to get a full charge. Um, so you can set up a, uh, uh, you can have an electrician install an outlet in your house um, for faster charging. Um, you have adapters and stuff like that already for it. So it's kind of like the same outlet that you'd use for like a dryer. I think it's a 240 um, outlet. And with a 240 outlet, you'll get a full charge in about four to eight hours. So that's perfect. You come home, you plug it in, and then the next morning, it's like having a full tank of gas. And then of course, if you need to uh, go on a road trip or uh, you need to uh, charge in the pants, there's an amazing supercharger network. I supercharge all the time and it's actually pretty fast. 
Um, the thing with uh, electric car batteries is the emptier they are, the faster they charge. So the fuller the battery goes, uh, the slower it is to charge. So sometimes just to add that last five or 10% to the battery can take a long time. But the good news is if you're really running low on charge, but you just need to add a quick 100 miles of range, uh, for whatever reason the supercharger if you have a almost empty battery you can add about 100 miles of range in you know 10 minutes 10 15 minutes to you know have a little break get a cup of coffee and then you can get back on the road or if you want to do a full charge um, if you can find a charging network near a restaurant or a mall uh, you can get a full charge in about 50 minutes it'll let you know on your phone uh, so you don't have any idle fees um, you can check the state of charging on your phone you can stop the charging it's actually pretty amazing of all the stuff you can do on your phone. You have the sentry mode. So many cool things. All right, so I've talked long enough about this Model 3. Um, obviously, if you're interested in buying it, we can ship this anywhere in the country. We have a very big pre-owned business. If you're a little bit more local, we have complimentary delivery to pretty much anywhere in Washington, Oregon. Contact us for more information. Um, I'm pretty... Uh, I'm pretty uh, uh, smitten with Teslas. I think right now the Model 3 is one of the best vehicles on the road. I'm very impressed with the autopilot with convenient features. I love the way it drives. I love the way it feels. I love the way it looks. When I'm driving the vehicle, it's almost like a perpetual uh, feeling of uh, you know euphoria <laughs> getting these cars. It's really a nice place to be. Great audio system. Very comfortable zero gravity seats. If you don't believe me, take it for a spin because every time you know people are skeptical of Teslas and I take them out for a drive, uh, it's almost like uh, you know they wake up like, wow, this is amazing. I have I've never had any idea. Well, if you don't have any idea, get behind the wheel of one. I think you'll be very impressed. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.